Welcome back to the channel today, guys. I'm Justin Davis, and today we're gonna fly a ready-to-fly 3D RC airplane. All right, guys, we have a brand new RC airplane on the channel today. This is from Radiolink, and this is the A560, ready to fly 3D plane with a breakaway prop. It also has a flight controller on here. It's the R8XM flight controller and receiver. We have the BIME BYMEA also on here running our receiver. We have servos already on here. All the links are all set up, and I'm gonna show you how this goes together in this review, as well as a little bit of flying in the different flight modes. It comes with manual flight mode and it comes with gyro assist flight mode. Right now it's blowing 15 to 20 miles an hour up top here. There's a lot of wind coming through the field and I'm gonna show you how much of a difference it makes when you're flying in manual mode and wind with a 3D foamy this size. And then when you're not flying in manual, little gyro assistance makes you a much better pilot. It makes this feel like a much larger aircraft. So let's go ahead and do some flying now. Here we go. Now in this section, I'm going to show you what's in the box and I'm going to show you how to put the A560 together. If you'd like to skip ahead, you can go to about 3 minutes and 30 seconds for the flight test. You get an USB firmware cable, the T8 transmitter with Bluetooth app support. You get a carrying case strap. This is the fuselage which is made of EPO foam and you get a 2206 brushless motor for that propeller with a breakaway system which is nice. JST battery connector here. And you get landing gear, which we're not really gonna to use today. And you also get a keychain, some extra hardware. The tail assembly just snaps together just like this. Pretty easy. Some extra grommets for the prop. You get some servo head as well, two props, USB cable for firmware updates, radio charging, and some extra hardware there and a screwdriver. This is the A560 wing with a lot of throw here. And this is where the top comes off to insert the wing. Let's go ahead and show you how it goes together. The wing goes down just like this and then that top plate where the cockpit would normally be slides back down and you have four plastic screws that go through there with a couple of little top plate assemblies that twist into place. So it's pretty much a little thumb screw set up here and we're putting our first aileron control rod on there on that side on the other side and now we can put the tail together just goes together just like this and go ahead and put those control arms on there it gives a little bit of stabilization less wobble in the tail and some of these aren't actually hooked up to servos as you'll notice now we can go ahead and put these two stabilizers on this just gives us a little more rigidity front to back so you don't have a lot of tail waggle now we have the thumb screws here they just twist and lock just like that so you can take the wing off pretty quick and easy to put it back in the box I would say it takes about 10 minutes time to put all these kind of links and rods together for the servos and the frame support. These are the four there that are on. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my rubber grommet around the propeller. This way, if it hits the ground, it's going to bend back and save the prop. The battery goes on right here with a Velcro strap. And pretty much at this point, you're ready to fly your airplane. And right now I believe we got like a maybe a 15 mile an hour wind all the way up top here. So it's not a lot of wind, but it's enough. So I'm really gonna get on the sticks this time. Oh. Uh oh, we got we got something hanging off the back. So these are made to pop away. So once they pop off, you can just snap them back on. Let's go ahead and straighten out that propeller again. Make sure I hold down the throttle with my thumb as always. And here we are off again. And it should have different flight modes on here, but we're gonna check that out more in this review. And it's really fighting the wind right now. I'm just gonna give it a little more juice. Go straight out, we'll do some barrel rolls. Come back around. She's really squirrely up there right now in this mode. She is squirrely, but using some higher throttle here. Leveling out those wings, little knife edge. Fighting that wind. Man, she's hot right now. She wants to hover a little bit though. Let's pull down some elevator, see if she'll hover. Hover and do a little Harrier roll. Coming back around, almost hit the tripod. Wild, wild plane on the ground. So I think for this A560, really what it wants is like a day with no wind. And this will be a lot of fun. This will be absolute joy on a day with no wind. So let's straighten out the propeller. We could put a battery checker on that to see where this battery's at. Looks like the 
ESC came unattached. Let's go ahead and try that again. But a lot of fun to fly. I'm getting more used to it now. And there we go. She wants to go into a hover. So it's a good plane to practice hovering if you're brand new to RC. Hovering is when you have an RC airplane and it comes to a vertical fashion. It kind of just, you know, dances on the vertical, kind of like an RC helicopter. Kind of mimicking an RC helicopter. That's looking good. So the cool thing is so far I, I've hit the ground quite a few times and not had any problems here. Let's go ahead and press transmitter button. Let's see if we have a few different modes we can snap into here. Okay, there we go. There's our modes. Let's find out where the stability mode is. And to get into stability mode, you're gonna use this C, looks like channel five switch here. So with all this wind, let's see how that works. See if it uh, flies a little smoother. I was flying in full manual earlier. Man, that was tough. But now it looks like I have way better control. A Little bit of gyro help, helps out a lot in the wind. Now I look like a pro pilot, look at me like, Coming across here with a little bit of a knife edge. Knife edge circle. A little bit of a hover there. Nice. Flying a lot smoother. Man, full manual on this plane's a lot in this wind. But now I look like a pro because, well, I'm flying with a little bit of gyro assistance. And it feels good now. Let's bring it down to the ground a little bit. Give it some juice at the low ground. See if it'll hover for us. Very nice. Look at that, nice control. You didn't know I could hover an airplane, did you? I can. There we go. Little Harrier rolls here. Looking good. A560, doing his thing. That's pretty cool that this is a, a 3D plane ready to fly out of the box. With a little gyro assistance on here, makes you look like a pro with a small plane. That's pretty cool. You know, you guys are going to probably be asking me in this review, how do you learn how to fly a 3D airplane? The best way to learn first is get a simulator, as always. And then you're going to get used to the sticks and, and learn these maneuvers. Like, a brand new pilot is not just going to get this plane, put it in this gyro assist mode, and fly like I'm flying here today. So don't be fooled by that, okay? It's going to take some, some practice. Even with the gyro assist, you're going to need to know, like, muscle memory, which way to go, the wind's gonna blow you around, all those things to consider and take into uh, consideration here. Like FPV wise, this is probably not a good plane to FPV. I, I don't think. I mean, this is just strictly line of sight enjoyment right here. Like out in the field, easy flying, Sunday flyer. And it's really, look, look at that little knife edge, a couple feet off the ground. That is so fun. Really has a nice CG on it now that we have a little bit of gyro assistance. It's not flippy floppy everywhere. I'm loving that. Let's do some little, we could work on some inverted. Let's go see how it flies inverted. It doesn't want to fly inverted very well. It's kind of wanted to roll back over, uh, but, but I could work on that, you know. And that's one of those things where it, when you get a brand new RC airplane, you never know how it's going to fly inverted until you do it. Some planes love to fly inverted, other planes don't like it at all. Uh, some of my trainer planes really hate it. Some of my low wing planes don't like it. It just depends really on the plane. And this one, the CG should be right dead smack down the center of the fuselage and it should, it's just going to take a lot more, kind of a lot more patience to fly this one inverted. but. And also there's a lot of wind right now, but we'll, we could probably keep working on that inverted there. I'm inverted right here and back around. You can also do some outside loops. Outside loops are a lot of fun. So a regular loop is like this. You're going to go kind of nose into the wind, come up all the way around. That's a regular loop. Now for an outside loop, you go the other direction. Transmitter's chirping at me a little bit. It might be telling us that our onboard battery is low. So we do have another battery you could switch out to. Make sure you hold your thumb down when you're kind of putting that prop back together. And I'm gonna go ahead and toss it again. We'll show you an outside loop. Okay, we're gonna go up, get some high altitude, and we're gonna do a loop first. 
Now we'll go back up and a little bit of throttle here. Outside loop. Man, that's a windy fast outside loop right there. Let's go for a little bit of knife edge action, low to the ground. Come back around, swing back around that way. A560 is fun, you guys. Look at that little circular knife edge. You think your wingtip's gonna touch, just like level out, come back around. Look how slow it goes. Right in front of me, little hover there. Carrier hover and out. Yeah, I think this battery's just about done. Let's try to come way back over here, getting too close to the van in the parking lot. Concrete, RC airplane, not good. So let's see if we can catch this guy. One of the cool things uh, that the 3D pilots do is catch their plane in a hover. And I'm not that lucky. <laughs> Flying good. Locked in, you guys. Still a little bit of wind, but the gyro is really helping out with that wind. Making it feel like a much bigger plane. A small 3D plane can definitely be a handful without some type of gyro assistance, but people do fly them, but they usually fly them in gyms and things. Not so much outside and outdoors, but a lot of the AMA fields guys have these types of planes. It's just cool to see a ready to fly version of one of these planes come along. Low airspeed to the ground there, almost stalling out to zero airspeed, coming to a little bit of a hover. Let's do a little hovering right in front of us here. See if we can do a little wing rotation in that hover. Nice. Beautiful. And we could work on some inverted as well. But it seems to roll really nice. Snap roll. Go the other way. Little knife edge action. Oh. And the cool thing about this is, during this entire review, I have hit the ground so many times now with this plane. And I don't have any body damage yet. Um, and my first propeller is still on there and not broken. And I haven't lost my first rubber band there yet off the front so that's pretty cool now everything still seems to be working great i also put some uh kind of uh, what i call thumb couches on my radio here these are from best Ariel. i'll try to put some links down below if you guys want some of these these are great they kind of just don't let your fingers slip off the end of the sticks they're they're really comfortable to fly 3d and an fpv with rudder seems to have uh, it really turns quick with that rudder. And you have, you know, really big throws with this plane. Let's do an outside loop. There we go. A little higher up that time, a little safer. You know, as long as the plane is in the air, hey, it's all in one piece. They used to tell me that at the field. They're like, Justin, as long as it's still in the air, you know, you're all good. It's when you start doing things kind of low that you get in trouble. Get low to the ground. It's more more at stake seems to be tracking pretty well up oh, right to the ground so and a lot of times again with this plane like i'm finding out that just a little light smack down like that turn the prop back in place and i'm ready to fly again you can hear those gyros working with my surfaces and just you know give it a little bit of throttle and let it go give it a toss i'm not even at half throttle when I let go of it. Probably about 40% throttle and it'll take off out of your hand. You could definitely do a, a catch with this one. Let's do some uh, hovering with a little bit of aileron there. Get a little twist, happy twist happening. Everybody likes a happy twist. All right, it's not like the Bob Ross of, of RC. I've been called that before, the Bob Ross of RC. <laughs> really relaxed oh no now that was our first hard smackdown so let's see i heard something really pop that time i might have popped the motor off the front and that's a little durability test right there because it really hit hard okay so i saw something bent here looks like this popped out of place the wing popped out of place maybe i can put that back um this 
propeller is still intact. Man, you guys heard that pop, right? I thought the whole motor was hanging off the front. And for mine, it looks like they have two bolts here holding the motor and none vertically. So that's interesting. I'd probably put a couple more bolts right there. Maybe manufacturing, they forgot to put those in there, but check all my control rods. Everything looks good here. I had one pop off earlier. It popped off right here on this link. But it looks like we could go back to flying from that hard smackdown. That is pretty cool. Okay, we're back up. Let me just test all the surfaces here. Yeah, seems to be fine. So the more you fly these planes, just, you know, the more comfortable you get with them, the more chances you're going to take. And you're going to you're going to smack this plane down, but you're also going to learn how to be a better pilot. I promise you, if you fly line of sight like this, you're going to become a better pilot. Even a better FPV pilot flying line of sight. I know uh, guys that were like 3D plane professionals that fly FPV and they're fantastic FPV pilots as well. Just, you know, comes with the nature of RC. If you love RC, do a little bit of everything. It's fun. Kind of a wide knife edge there. Coming down low back to the ground. I'm going to try a little hover action here. Low to the ground, see if we can throw some wing spin into it. It wants to spin. And you know, this is not like hover assistance. This, this is not hover assistance on this plane. Some planes have a hover assistance for the flight controller, but this one, not to my knowledge, it doesn't have that. And again, it looks like everything looks like it's still in good standing here. All control arms are on looks like it just needs to be pushed that way a tiny bit straighten that up and get back in the air that's what I love about 3d planes especially the foamy ones man you guys can you know if you did break this wing totally in half you could fix it with some foam safe CA glue and then you're back up and flying and it's stronger than it was before but these things usually don't get too demolished honestly because you're flying them pretty slow most of the time Depends on who you are, I guess. But I just love looking at these in the air and airborne. Let's come over here and see if we can do the last bit of this battery, a little bit of hover, and maybe catch it before the battery dies. We'll have to see. I don't know if it's possible, but we'll give it a shot. Don't try this at home. Come back, baby. Right back over here to daddy. Okay. Getting close. All right, there we go. A560 from Radio Link, guys. You can check this one out in the link down below. If you enjoy my reviews, please do subscribe on the Drone Camps channel because I'm not just a drone guy. I started out as an RC airplane guy, and that's where my first love is in RC. I appreciate you watching, guys. And that's the end of this review. Take care, guys, and I will see you on the next one.